This is Velvet Assassin. And I think this girl needs some more one-liners, like, could you point me towards the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> if you like stealth assassin games and have a lot of patience, you'll find a very cool game here in Velvet Assassin. Kind of a silly title, I would have preferred that they call it Velour Assassin. Maybe that'll be the sequel. This is loosely based on a British spy behind the lines in World War II. She's kind of like a ninja, if that ninja looked and talked exactly like Kate Beckinsdale. I have a few mixed opinions on the game, but overall I thought it was really cool. And you can make up your own opinion after seeing a good amount of gameplay here. For starters, the environments and the detail in the surroundings is excellent. The audio work and music are actually very nice as well. Creatures without souls. You spend most of your time sneaking around, and we've seen games like this, like Tenchu Shadow Assassins, where you hide in the shadows until it's the right time, you hop out, you stab the bad guys, and drag them into the shadows, you can whistle and lure them towards you, and then shoot them with a silenced pistol. You've only got a few shots for each of the pistols that you pick up every now and then. Most of the work you do in this game is sneaking around, stabbing people in the back. Very inconsiderate. I tried to go through the game just blasting people with a shotgun. That doesn't work. Young, young. So fresh, man. This is us. The girls in the in the arms. The lighting work is very good. Frequently it's not immediately apparent what you're supposed to do for each level or for each of the rooms or environments that you enter. You have to analyze your surroundings, occasionally plan your attack, watch the guards, listen to the guards, find the right shadows or, or a shadow that's moving to use for cover. Parts of the game are really brilliant. Other parts fall somewhat short. For instance, the scenes where you have to listen to two guards talking for a minute and a half and then you end up getting killed because a few of these missions take some serious trial and error before you figure out how to really get through them. But each time you replay from a checkpoint, you then have to listen to the guards talk for another minute and a half. Also, you pick up collectibles along the way, and the more collectibles you find allow you to increase your stats, your stealth stats, your morphine stat, and I'll get to that in a moment. When you restart a level from a checkpoint, it ignores those collectibles that you've previously found. You have to find them all again. They should have done what they did in the Chronicles of Riddick game where you find a collectible and it adds to your, whatever, your collectible stats. And then if you get killed, it's still there. That's a minor detail, it doesn't really affect the overall gameplay, but the distance between checkpoints is frequently very long. And when you get killed trying to stab the last guy in the back, and he hears you sneaking up towards him, and then you have to redo the entire thing again, it does get a bit frustrating, which is why I say you must have some patience to play this game. I like this part. She's supposed to be dressed up in this SS officer's outfit and nobody's really supposed to notice her. Like, do they know how guys are? Every guard in a 100 mile radius would be trying to talk to her. However, when things go right, they go very smooth and you get a real thrill 
out of sneaking through an environment, picking off the guards, and finishing the levels. The majority of the gameplay in Velvet Assassin is very good. The combat sections are definitely frustrating. She's not much for gunplay, and uh, neither are the controls. When you make good use of the shadows of the surroundings and plan your attack perfectly and time your approach on the guards and picking off people with the pistol and the knife and whatnot, it's really fun. It's a fairly lengthy game, too. Each of the levels after the first one are extremely long. Some of them took me two hours to get through. Now there's this whole morphine thing, which is kind of bizarre. It's like she goes into Soul Reaver mode. The exit was blocked. If you're really stuck and can't figure out how to, how to sneak up on somebody, the morphine puts her into this drugged out dream thing. And then she just runs up and stabs one person. So it's like you get a freebie. There's not too much that's really new here, but the care taken in creating the environments like the cathedral and the level with the submarines is, is very nice. And they're challenging. You have to figure out how to get from point A to point B, taking out people along the way. <laughs> the big downside is that it does tend to get clumsy when you get killed and have to redo everything again. But you also have figured out what to do and it goes much smoother the second, third, or fourth time, depending on how many times you get blown away. Occasionally, you'll sneak up on somebody and think you're right behind them to stab them, and then it gets clumsy, and like the guard turns around and sees you, and you're hammering at the button trying to stab them. And some parts of the controls could have been improved, but like I said, when it goes right, it's right. I like it because it's a nice, subtle twist on the stealth assassin game genre. And I love the environments. That's the highlight of the game for me. They really set the mood. And the use of lighting and mist and fog is excellent. The production value overall may not seem quite as high as some of the really big budget titles out there, but they've done an excellent job here. And you may be able to nitpick it a bit, but overall, if you like the genre, this one's pretty cool. <laughs> Just be forewarned that you will need a lot of patience to play this game. Velvet Assassin. Attacker! What they really need to do is put her in a bright yellow velour cat suit. That way it will distract all the guards and while they're, while they're staring at her, she just pops them in the head left and right. Velour Assassin. And plays disco the whole way through each level. This is why I need to design games. The roots of the German submarines would be an enormous help to Britain. Ugh! <laughs> 